Hey everybody and welcome to Get More From Your Thermomix Wednesday with me here, Kelly Arnold in Brisbane, Australia. Um, today, because we're, we're in the midst of our summer right now and still very, very hot, I think today we're on 28. Um, so salads seem very apt right now. Um, so that's what I wanted to share with you today. It's just a few little salad um, tips and ideas. Um, when it comes to salads, you really can use what you've got in the fridge and make the most of those um, things in the bottom drawers that you, you know, who likes waste? I know I certainly don't. Um, so, you know, use up those things. Um, so we'll go a little bit through that as well. Um, but also I wanted to just, you know, just point out the obvious. Salads don't have to always be cold. Um, salads don't always have to be, um, my dad would always call it rabbit food, uh, lettuce. Um, you can, you know, really sort of mix and match and use all sorts of things. You can have warm pumpkin salads, you can have risoni salads, you can have seafood salads, um, all sorts of things. But what I really want to make with you today, because obviously being in January and you know, a lot of us wanting to detox um, from that splurging and that sort of thing, um, is this wonderful recipe, it's called Detox Salad. Um, but, you know, I'll, I'll eat this salad all year round because it's a fabulous, um, yummy salad, very quick and very simple. It's also a great salad for if you are just wanting to make it for yourself. It's actually from the Meals for One collection from the UK and Ireland uh, Cookie Do platform. Um, hello, Jody. How are you? Thanks for joining us today. Um, so, basically, if you're not already aware and you're new to Thermomix, to get recipes that are from different countries, what you want to do, either on the screen of your Thermomix or from the app on your phone or from the website, when you go into the search feature, Deselect Australia. By deselecting Australia, it's allowing you to search across the world of Thermomix recipes, um, giving you access to, I think we're uh, 66, over 66,000 recipes on there, so you're not gonna get bored, hey Deb. Um, but then what you may wanna do, after you've deselected Australia, um, you may want to then search, just select the languages that you can actually read and understand. Um, unless you want to use Google Translate, then you can do that too. Um, but otherwise, I select English because that's the only real, I know a little bit of a few others, but it's the only real language that I actually understand properly being my native language. So, without further ado, let's get cracking and make this recipe. So, I've saved it to my weekly planner, so it's straight here on the screen of my Thermomix when I go into the menu, weekly planner, and then it's under my cook today. So, I'm going to select that one, detox salad, okay? Um, I'm going to press start cooking. First up, it wants me to add in 200 grams of broccoli, but before I do that, because it's going to want me to add flaked almonds at the end. Now I would, on that point, I would, hi Tammy, I would urge you all, when you're cooking a recipe with Thermomix, have a read through all the steps before you start, because there might be something that you might want to, like for example, if a recipe needs rice flour, you might want to um, make yourself that rice flour first. Unless you've got an extra bowl and blade set, then you just swap over if you need a clean bowl. Um, but, so have a read through the recipes first. Thank you for that thumbs up. Please all give me a little thumbs up because I'd love to know if I'm you know, doing the right thing by you all. Um, so basically what I'm gonna do here, I know that we need some almonds at the end and it is nice to sprinkle some nuts on the end of, uh, on your salad because it gives you that little bit of added texture and it's nice. So what I'm gonna do here, and in case some of you are not already aware, you can step outside of your recipe when you're in the middle of it. What I mean by that is I want to actually come out of what it's doing at the moment. So by pressing my home screen, the little house at the top of the screen, takes me back to my manual um, screen here. So what I'm going to do is just chuck in a handful of raw almonds, okay? Because I'm not going to worry about them being flaked. Just a, um, a handful of raw almonds. Oh, one went missing there, he's somewhere underneath there. Let's have a little look. There he is. Okay, 
Always lift your Thermomix, never drag because of the uh, scales on the little, in the little feet. So, nuts are in there. Now what I want to do, I just want to give a quick uh, blitz. So, I'm actually going to use the turbo feature. So swipe across and I'm going to, where is my turbo? There it is. So turbo, and this is a short, sharp, quick blitz. So I'm only actually going to do five seconds because I just want a quick um, to leave it all crunchy. Then we'll have a look inside. And we've got some chopped up, blitzed up almonds. So I'm just going to set that aside for now. Okay, so we've got our chopped up um, almonds there, just roughly. I'm not, you know, too worried about them being, you know, all the same size or anything like that. Now I'm going to put my bowl back in, into place. So by pressing the home key will now take me back um, into my recipe, where we were. How clever is that? Hey, Pamela! Um, ladies and gents, give us a little thumbs up if you like what you're seeing so far. Okay, so... 200 grams of broccoli in here. So what we want to do with our broccoli, because like I said before, we really don't want to have any waste. So broccoli here in Queensland at the moment is quite expensive. Uh, it's just under $10 per kilo down at my local IGA. So wanting to make the most of it. And that's including using the stalk. Okay, so I've got here on my little chopped pot, which is uh, from the mix shop. Um, I've got my broccoli. So I've got bro broccoli florets. Okay, thank you. Thanks for the likes. Um, and then, but don't disregard, don't, you know, disregard the poor old stalk. The stalk is actually fantastic for gut health. It's really great fiber. Um, so please do use that. Use it in your soups, use it in your stir fries. Um, I'm going to chuck it in the salad because it's going to all get blitzed up. So don't throw away your stalk, okay? Just chuck it in there. Um, I've just randomly sort of chopped it up. So we want 200 grams in total. In that goes. Awesome. Press next. Next we want about 140 grams of red cabbage here in my white thermo server. Who's got themselves one of these by hosting a demo? They are so lovely to have on the table during summertime or any time really, but I really like them. Um, so we're gonna add in our 140 grams of red cabbage, in that goes. We've also got in here 50 grams of red onion or some like to refer to it as purple onion. This one here. Um, and then we have 50 grams of red pepper, or capsicum, as we call it here in Australia. It's funny, I always, um, when I'm talking to friends, because obviously I'm originally from the UK myself, when I'm talking to friends over here and uh, you know, we're talking about recipes and they're talking about, oh, what, this recipe's got courgette, what's courgette? And I'm like, ah, zucchini for us guys over here now. Um, so yeah, so some of those things are, just always ask the question if you're, if you're not sure. Um, but with this recipe here, if you didn't have the red capsicum or the red pepper, um, or you didn't have uh, red cabbage and you wanted to use white cabbage, um, feel free, go for your life. Use whatever that you, you know, would like to use. So we've got that in there. Press next. We want to pop our lid on because we love Thermomix because it tells us everything that we need to do. Um, we don't even need to guess when to put the lid on. So lid on, nice little pretty picture on the screen there to show you what it means when it says to put in the measuring cup, which is this piece here. Then we press next. Now, we just want to do what Thermomix says. It's because we're using guided cooking, we're following a recipe, it's got the six seconds already popped in there. Hey Liz, how are you? Um, we're just gonna then want to turn the speed selector to speed four. Now, if you don't already know this, or if you're very new to Thermomix and you've been gifted a Thermomix for Christmas, you lucky things, um, then give the dial a quick turn, super fast turn, and it will stop on the number it needs to, okay? So just super quick, and it turns. Hey Kim! Um, so that is done, we're gonna press next. Wants me to transfer into a bowl, so I'll pop that into my thermo server. 
and you can see here it's starting to look nice already so I love that the Thermomix it doesn't um, you know it still take keeps it nice and chunky for you as you would like a salad to be um, this recipe it's actually called detox salad and it's from the UK platform so deselect Australia okay thank you so we're gonna tip that in and that's already looking lovely okay we don't need to wash our bowl we're just gonna pop that back into place and then we want to add um, our ah, we want to add our avocado into here okay so avocado if you've got one add that in yummy yummy super ripe one super ripe one will be very nice for this salad don't want it to be too too hard and a, and a bit bitter so we've got our avocado in there what I also like to add, um, and I'm again, I'm just using it up because it's in the fridge, it's a bit of smoked salmon. Um, you could add a bit of ch chicken in here, you could add a bit of prawn, or just have it as is. Um, so I'm just gonna add that bit of smoked salmon in there because that's really delicious, um, and it's one of my favorites. So we've got our avocado in there, we press next. Now we want to add in 50 grams of fat-free yogurt into so mix, the scales have come up for us, okay? To tear those back to zero, you just hit that tear button and you're back to zero. Now, I follow a dairy-free diet, so you can use your um, fat-free um, plain dairy yogurt in here, but I'm actually using a coconut yogurt. And this is a coconut yogurt that I use, um, that I make in the Thermomix. Um, it's in the yogurt collection on your cookie do and it is fabulous. So please get onto that. Instead of paying uh, five to ten dollars for a tub, you can make yourself heaps um, for a fraction of that cost. So that goes into there. Delicious. Next we want our 50 grams, 15 grams of olive oil. Um, I like to just put in about 10. There we go. Or you can reduce that further if you prefer. Um, obviously, it means you've got less dressing, but that's up to you. Next, we want to add in 20 grams of lemon juice. Or you could use lime if you wanted. So that goes in there. You could even use a little bit of vinegar if you don't have either of those. So we've got that there. Ask us to pop our lid on. Hey, Chris, how are you? And then we're just going to press next. And we're going to give that a turn. It's going to mix all that together for us just for uh, 10 seconds on speed 7. Um, so it's just mixing that up and it makes a really, really nice dressing. Okay, and then you just add a little bit of sea salt if you like, um, a little bit of uh, ground black pepper if you like. But what we have here is it looks a little bit purple because obviously it's got that um, we didn't rinse the bowl out from the red cabbage hey Kelly um, and we're just gonna pour this over the top and that actually looks delicious as it is can you all see that okay there so we're gonna pour this over here I'm just gonna get my I love these long spatulas who's got these these are awesome uh, they're from the mix shop as well um, so I'm just going to scrape all this down and get all that yumminess out of there. And then I will pop it onto the pre-clean mode in a second. So we've got our salad and all we want to do is just give that all a really nice stir through just to get all those beautiful flavours all mixed together. But look at this. This is just absolutely delicious it is so nice seriously please if you haven't tried this recipe please give it a go it's the detox salad from the uk um cookie do platform deselect australia um to open up your cookie do to the whole world of thermomix recipes um and just type in detox salad and it will pop up for you and it's amazing and just like i've done today if you want to add some smoked salmon if you want to add some shredded chicken if you want to add some boiled egg um, or just have it as it is because it's super yummy as it is too um, and then obviously we've got our nuts that we can sprinkle those on top and just absolutely delicious oh <laughs> 
it would have been so delicious off the floor but it's just so so yum um so yeah so thank you thanks Suzanne I'm glad you're enjoying again I do love to inspire you all um so please do again um if you've enjoyed what you've seen today please give me a thumbs up because I know that then I'm on the right track and you're liking what you're seeing and what I'm doing um I am actually um just in the process, it was a bit of a, a new year thing for me, I'm um, in the process of making a YouTube channel. Um, and I will share all of my Facebook Lives in there as a series. Um, and then there will be others as well, which obviously will be non-Facebook Live ones, so you won't have all the bits and pieces going on in between. Um, but please do, I'd love you all to um, share that with your friends and subscribe um, because the more people that I can subscribe, it just really, really helps helps me sort of get more um, get more from your Thermomix out there really. Um, so do subscribe to that, Kelly and her Thermomix on YouTube. Um, and yeah, just give me a comment, let me know what you think. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Um, Yay! Thanks Kerry, thank you. I just thought that it'd be really great for you guys that love to see the Facebook Lives. It'd give you a place that you can go back as a point of reference. So you can go back and see this recipe or you can go back and see my salmon and miso broth or um, tips on uh, bread or you know all those sorts of things. So um, I'm going to put the, all the Facebook Lives will be on there as a series so you can go back and watch those but then I'll be doing specific YouTube ones as well. So really hope you enjoy that. Please subscribe um, because that will then really help help me get you know more get more from your Thermomix out there. All right, everybody, thank you for today. Thanks, Mary, for hopping on. You might want to watch back and recap on what we've done so far. But just before I leave you here today and enjoy this delicious salad that's going to be for my dinner, that is amazing. Um, but just a quick little recap here. Um, so I'm going to come out of this recipe. And I just wanted to show you, if you go into um, Cookie Do on the screen of your summer mix, um, if you type in the word salad, um, if you're here in Australia like me and you type in the word salad, you'll get a whole heap of salad recipes. Um, but what I actually learned today, um, because it's, our recipe database is increasing and growing all the time across the world, when you type in salad here, um, you'll get 300 and something recipes in Australia. If you go then to filters, on your right hand side and deselect Australia and I selected English as my language and typed in the word salad 916 recipes popped up how amazing is that salads every day <laughs> all right everybody lovely lovely doing this for you today please subscribe to my YouTube please give me a thumbs up tag your friends that need a bit of get more from your Thermomix and inspiration and Obviously, if you'd like to have a demo or um, a cook along, let me know. I'd love to do that for you. And you can earn yourself white thermo servers or some of the others. Thanks, guys. Bye.